What did Patrick say when he got home? I know he doesn't want the baby, but still, he must have been a little upset, you know, about Brett's abortion. There wasn't one. You okay? No, I don't think so. Right. Is everything okay? Um, morning sickness. Morning sickness? Oh, every other woman I know was finished with all that at the end of her first trimester. Here I am in the middle of my second. It... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. I thought she wasn't keeping the baby. She changed her mind. What do you mean Westbourne changed her mind? Why? Apparently, the only reason she was having an abortion was because she thought Patrick wouldn't support her. She thought she'd be raising the child on her own. And now she thinks she won't be. Patrick agreed to co-parent. He wants to be responsible for his child, and so Britt reconsidered her decision to terminate the pregnancy. OK, wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. She makes Patrick cancel his date with you, and then drags him down to the doctors to hold her hand while she's having an abortion, and then she changes her mind? No, nah, girl, I ain't buying it. What do you mean? Come on, we both know what the bridge is capable of. This was all an act. She never intended to have that procedure in the first place. So, Bert's keeping the baby. Yes. How do you feel about that? The situation is less than ideal, obviously, but it's her choice. And if she's going to keep the baby, that means I'm going to be a father, which means I'm going to show up. It's a big adjustment. When I found out about Matt, I was really harsh on my dad. And it's ironic, because here I am in the exact same position. Well, no, Patrick, it, Brittany not be the best person for you, but you weren't unfaithful when you slept with her. Elizabeth, I'm going to be a father to a child that I didn't plan on having, OK? And that's not the baby's fault. So I don't want this baby to feel what Matt felt, feeling unwanted and overlooked. So if I'm going to be a father, I'm going to be the best that I possibly can. I know you will. It's just the timing. Is less than perfect, yes. But that's life, isn't it? So what do you do? you got to adjust, and that's all Britt and I are doing right now. Of course. Can you do me a favor, Tim? You check on her, make sure she's OK? Yeah, of course. Are you saying that Britt, what, staged the whole thing? It wouldn't be the first time. Think about it. The night of the nurse's ball. Britt took over the stage with a ridiculous announcement. I'm pregnant. But did Patrick come running? No, he stood right next to you. So what does she do? She sandbags your date and creates this will she or won't she drama down at the women's clinic. And why? To get into Patrick's head, make him commit to the kid and reel him in. Do you really think she'd go that far? Come on, this is the wicked witch of the Westbourne we're talking about. Check the sky for flying monkeys because she'll do anything to sink her claws into Patrick. I mean, she paraded around the locker room in her lingerie. And when that didn't work, she ambushed him in the shower. She tried to get you fired. She framed you for cheating. Oh my She's God. not above you. You're right. You're right. She'd do anything to get what she wanted. OK, so we're in agreement. That woman ain't nothing but a big ass fake. Patrick, something's wrong with Brett. How exactly? What's going on? Uh, she's sick, complaining of morning sickness. I found her on the bathroom floor. I'm worried it might be something more than just nausea. I think I need some water. OK, you might be dehydrated. Um, Sabrina, do you mind grabbing some water, please? And should we run a CBC and a Chem 20, please? On it. Oh. Forgive me for crying, but did you actually see Britt puking? No, she, she was already on the floor. I knew it. <sighs> Thank you. The baby's going to be OK, right? Yes, the baby's going to be fine. Don't worry about it, OK? I'm here. As soon as we find out if you're hydrated, we'll go from there, all right? Uh, Chris Santiago, can I see you for a moment? You gotta stay hydrated, Chris. I know, I know. It's just a bad week with stress at the clinic and then the hostility between you and me. I just, I got distracted. All right, well, no more of that, OK? I don't want our issues endangering the baby's health. No more hostility. Thank you. Would you mind calling my OB? I, I had an appointment the other day, and I should probably keep her up to date on, on what's happening. 
So you know for a fact that she's faking the morning sickness? Elizabeth never saw her puking. When she came in, Britt was already on the floor. I mean, that's amateur hour. I did a better job when I wanted to skip school. Oh my god, you're right. Didn't I call it at the nurse's bar? She's gonna use this pregnancy to tie Patrick up in knots. Between the guilt and the staged medical crisis, he won't know which way is up. We can't let her get away with this. Let who? Get away with what? Okay, I'll have the lab put a rush on this. <sighs> or hold this. Do you have any advice? I've never been pregnant before. The hospital offers classes for new moms. I'm sure you can schedule something. I guess I was hoping for something a, a bit more personal. And you've been through it more than enough times after all. Uh, Sabrina was just mentioning that Epiphany's putting all us newbies on the night shift. She's putting on the night shift? It's, it's just a rumor. Well, the night shift's a rite of passage. I did two years of it myself. Um, can you do me a favor? I've got to go call Brit's OB. I know she's not your favorite person, but can you, can you keep an eye on her for a second, please? I'd be happy to. Thanks. Was it something I said? Got to get this to the lab. Here, oh, she's all yours. Oh. Thank you so much, Sabrina, for all your help. You know, this pregnancy has been so difficult. Save it, Britt. I know you're faking. Faking? What are you talking about, Sabrina? Everything about this pregnancy is fake, other than the baby itself. Oh, yeah, you planned the whole thing out to lure Patrick back in the arms, staging the big reveal at the nurse's ball, pretending to want an abortion just to play with his emotions, and now you're faking morning sickness? Come on, Britt. You're an OB. You of all people know this is exactly what every pregnant woman goes through. Oh man, you are playing Patrick, and he is falling for it again. Hook, line, and sinker. Patrick. 